Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Seth Live, and it's time for another edition of Against the Odds. And last week, we had our first Frexy Against the Odds poll, and in the end, it was Iker Moon Gauntlet taking home a pretty easy win. So today, we're heading to our new standard format to play a deck that I'm really excited about. We're playing a deck I'm calling All Will Be Iker, combining Iker Moon Gauntlet with one of the runner-ups up on the poll, actually and all will be one. And I gotta say, this deck, wow, did it take some work. This is my seventh build of Vicar Moon Gauntlet. The first six flopped, they didn't work out, they weren't that fun, but I kept trying and eventually ended up with this Is It deck, which I think is actually kind of good-ish and also just really cool and synergistic and super fun. So let's talk about All Will Be Iker, jump into some games, see it in action. So we're built around Iker Moon Gauntlet. Does two things in our deck. Uh, it gives our Planeswalkers extra ability, zero to proliferate, 12 to take an extra turn. Also, just as important, when we cast a non-creature spell, we can choose a permanent and add another counter of a kind that it already has on it. So uh, if we have a Planeswalker and has a loyalty counter, we can add another one. Same with other counters that we'll get to in a minute. So what are we trying to do with Iker Moon Gauntlet? And the real playoff is all will be one. All will be one. When we put a counter on something, we get to deal that much damage to something. So if we have both of these cards, it gets really wild. Not only can we use any Planeswalker, we have to proliferate in a bunch of counters and do a bunch of damage, but every time we cast a non-creature spell, and our deck is all non-creature spells, not a single creature in our main deck, uh, but whenever we cast one of those, we get to add a counter to something, which will also be damaged with all will be one, so that's kind of how we finish the game. Uh, most of the time, we play Acre Moon Gauntlet, we get down to all will be one, and then we just add counters to thing until our opponent dies. We also have a bunch of Planeswalkers that I made fun of during spoiler season, but they work really well in this deck. Jace Perfected Mine, Koth Fire of Resistance. We also got Jaya Fire Negotiator, Teferi Temporal Pilgrim. These cards do two different things. First, they're high counter permanence, if that makes sense. Like uh, all these Planeswalkers come into play with a bunch of loyalty counters, which means if we have All Will Be One, we're getting this huge damage kicker. Like we cast a Jace for full price. If we have All Will Be One out, we get to deal five damage to something with All Will Be One. They also work ridiculously well with Iker Moon Gauntlet because once we get down our Planeswalkers, we can zero to proliferate to add counters to our Planeswalkers and do a bunch of other stuff and that'll also trigger All Will Be One. And we might even be able to get up to 12 loyalty and start taking extra turns if we can add enough counters with Iker Moon Gauntlet. We also have a bunch of other things that get counters. One of the things I learned about Iker Moon Gauntlet is you really want as many things that can get counters as possible. And the same is really true of All Will Be One, but especially Iker Moon Gauntlet because if we don't have stuff to put counters on, our Iker Moon Gauntlet doesn't really do anything. Like, as we're casting spells, we don't get value out of it because we can't add counters to things if we don't have things that have counters on them. So Reckoner Bank Buster gets counters, works with our synergies, draws us cards. Tablet Completion gets counters, ramps us, draws us cards. The Filgree Silex gets counters, rasts away our opponent's board, maybe deals 10 damage. Blast Zone gives us a way to synergize with counters in our mana base. So as we're proliferating, we can just be adding counters to all of these as well and triggering our all will be one and just doing ridiculous things with Iker Moon Gauntlet. Otherwise, Fable the Mirror Breaker works with our synergies, filters through our deck, removal, pretty typical stuff, Strangler Braid, Rebel Salvo, Mana Base, we talked about Blast Zone, the rest of it's just regular is it mana and standard. Sideboard, a bunch of removal for aggro, a bunch of counters, Hallbreak Core for control, and licensors for graveyards, and that is the ridiculousness of all will be Iker for standard. That's our Against the Odds deck for this week, so let's jump into some games and see this ridiculous deck in action. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoy it and I'll be back in a bit for the wrap up. Need some Phyrexia All Will Be One cards? Well, you can snag them from our sponsor, Card Kingdom, over at cardkingdom.com slash mtggoldfish. Against the odds time, we are playing some more is it Iker Moon? And this hand looks pretty good. Decent mana, a little bit of ramp, maybe some card draw, Planeswalker. No, no Iker, or all will be one, but we'll find him, hopefully. All right, Storm Carve goes, go. What are you up to, opponent? Blah, Haunted Ridge, all right. Well, channel land in. Let's get down the tablet of completion, start our ramp plan. Tablet, I think, actually might be decent-ish in this deck. If we have ways to add counters to it, it becomes kind of sweet. Plus, like, really, because of All Will Be One, we just want as many ways to add counters to things as possible. Like, once we get All Will Be One going, any counter is pretty valuable. About it. Are they really thinking about blowing up Tablet? 
Eh, I mean, okay, opponent just passes. Well, Zune and Fable the Mia Brega. Ship the turn. All right, cut down the goblin, sure. Well, we should be able to play Jaya next turn. So opponent's a legendary deck? Oh, man. oh no. Miglaz is actually pretty good against us. They can blow up our all will be one, which is awkward. We actually have to discard the giant now. It does not line up well with Miglaz. <laughs> okay, well, blast zone and Reckoner Bank Buster. I mean, maybe if we play enough other artifacts and enchantments, our opponent has to use the oil counters to blow up something else. But we definitely got to deal with Miglaz before we can play all will be one, or on the turn that we play all will be one. But we we can't let Miglaz just blow it up. That'd be bad down to 16. I mean, we do get to start drawing cards, which is nice. We have answers, if we can find them. All right, well, now we gotta kill the Hajar. Draw a card. Oh, arena. Well, drawing a card is good, but Arena auto-tapped our tablet at completion, which is not as good. We wanna take that up into card draw mode. What is our opponent thinking about? Huh. Oh, okay. That's kind of fine. We get a land and we get, we have another bank buster anyway. Although I really wish we had the counter on that tablet. All right, we get to draw a card. Fable the Mirror Breaker. Untap. Oh, Double Strangle could have got the Hajar too. Well, all right. Strangle the Hajar. Opponent sacks it. So we're gonna have to be careful with the auto tapper apparently. Now that we know it does not like tablet of completion. Uh... Yeah, let's, I think we play Bank Buster. We can Bank Buster and draw. And this time, hopefully, remember to take up Tablet of Completion before Arena taps it. Would you like to blow up our Bank Buster? We're actually fine with our opponent blowing something up just to get rid of those oil counters, because then we can play All Will Be One and start doing sweet things. All right, well, now we might be chump blocking. We have another Strangle, so we can kill the Gix. Apparently, we're just never gonna kill Miglaz. It's going to live forever. Let's draw with Bank Buster, get some info. Well, yeah, I think we're actually gonna chump here. Really don't want our opponent drawing with Gix, especially since we have the removal spell for Gix. So if we chump this, oh my, oh my God, I'm so bad. Okay, I did not take up the tablet completion. That one's not Arena's fault, that was on me. I was thinking about killing Gix's and just clicked, oh, best turn. Kill the Gix. <laughs> <laughs> Manually tap these blast zones that Rena loves to leave untapped. Play a Fable of the Mirror Breaker. I swear one of these days I'm gonna take up this tablet. It's gonna happen. The card does do things. It does do things sometimes when you remember it. Opponent. All right, let's draw with a Bank Buster. Ooh, jeez. I mean, I guess we can also just get it. Oh my God, it did it. <laughs> oh, chat, don't look at the tablet of completion. <laughs> Editor, edit out that tablet of completion. Let's pretend that tablet doesn't exist. Uh, we're going to chump again. Stay at 16. Untap, Stormcarve Ghost. I think we actually just keep our hand. Play the land. All will be one. We can strangle and actually take up the tablet, I think. We got. We gotta stop punning with this tablet. <laughs> Ping the Miglaz. Bank Buster, draw a card, make a treasure. While well, we've drawn all the strangles and then strangle Miglaz, okay. Okay, that's good. We got through the Miglaz and we have all will be one on the battlefield, which is kind of our goal opponent. And we also have Jason hand, which is a lot of counters to go with all will be one. What do you got opponent? She old red, okay. Actually not really that good though. We get drained. Uh, draw land. So, ping the shield red. We can kind of kill everything, but our opponent does get to reanimate with Junji. They don't have the plaza mana, thankfully. Let's think about this. Full price Jace. Kill the shield red. Take up tablet. Ping the Junji. Strangle the Junji. Take a Blast Zone. Man, All Will Be One is a ridiculous card once you get it on the battlefield. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All Will Be One. Get rid of the Junji. So, opponent is what? Getting back Shieldred, probably? Maybe Miglaz. Maybe they just want to try to blow up the All Will Be One. That would make sense. It's got to be one of those two, right? Either Miglaz and try to like, try to disrupt us, or. All right. Just get Shieldred and going to try to just kill us, which also makes sense. Well, take up the Jays. 
We're at nine. We can we can take a couple of shielded triggers. And we have a chump blocker, which is good. Jace is actually kind of good. <laughs> shielded as a 1-5 is a little less scary. Going to cut down. Well, might as well crew. Yeah, if we get to untap with this setup, these blast zones can do some work. Although we do have to deal with these plazas. Opponent goes attacking. Yeah, let's, I think we double block. This actually, wow, that's a greedy attack. So opponent attacks, this is gonna make them use their plaza. And then we should be able to kill this shielder with all will be one. And now we're just, we're good, right? So opponent, yeah. Plaza, save shielded, we lose Bankbuster. We draw land, we get drained, but <laughs> the greatest blast zone of all time. Uh, take up, take up blast zone for three. All will be one, three damage to Shieldred. Tablet of completion, counter, one damage to Shieldred. Jay's tick up. Next turn we can probably start drawing with Jay's, which is sweet. Tick up. Ping the shield red. Wow, okay. All will be one. Actually kind of bonkers. <laughs> Opponent's down to 17, get in with the reflection. Opponent, oh, just a land. Okay, well, play the land. Draw with tablet. Play the tablet. Draw with Jace, mill you. I will clear. Ooh, there's Acre Moon Gauntlet too. Okay, Acre Moon Gauntlet. Hit you with reflections. Down to 15. Pony needs some enchantment removal or artifact removal. We got uh, Glissa. Okay. Well, Glissa's not going to do much here. Like, we're at the just shoot down all your stuff stage of the game, I think. Or just maybe. Can we just kill our opponent? Hit you down to 14. Untap. Oh my god, another Acre Moon Gauntlet. Mill you draw with Jays. We can improve. Oh, that's a Teferi. Okay, so. Yeah, now we're pretty close to winning. Acre Moon Gauntlet number two. Start putting more counters on the other tablet of completion. This is where Acre Moon looks absurd. Hit the Glissa. Teferi. Put a counter on tablet of completion and opponent scoops it up. And that was, that was a Iker Moon Gauntlet win. That was a full on Iker Moon Gauntlet win. That was so good. That was so good. And it's not like our opponent did nothing. Like they had shielders, they had the whole thing. And all will be one Iker Moon Gauntlet. I think we finally, we finally found it. We finally found a way to make it work. Well, yeah, bring in a, a couple of counters, customize the removal a bit, do a little trimming. Mostly shielded, I guess, is something we're scared of. Try the hole breaker, run it like that. On to game number two. Acre Moon vs. Jund Legends. We're on the draw. Eh, sound looks fine. Ooh, and it burned down the house. All right, well, let's see what our opponent has. Wow, nothing? Yeah, let's just start with tablet. Filgree, I think, unlikely to kill anything super quickly. It's not like we can use it to defend the Jace or whatever. The deck's pretty sweet when it works. It gets that like machine feeling going where you're, uh, you got the gears going and you're like adding oil here and adding this here. And eventually that all adds up to, <laughs> to some sweetness. Well, let's see what our opponent has on three. Besaju and Miglaz again. And yeah, we probably got a Fable here to try to, Try to hit our land drops. Jace take up is okay, but then we might miss our land next turn. Opponent gets in and hits us. Down to 16. Wow, okay, just gonna blow up the fable. Well, that might mana screw us or not. Well, that worked out. <laughs> that worked out for the best. So opponent uses our Miglot, spends their turn to blow something up. That's one of the downsides of Miglots is it is a lot of mana. Yeah, let's fill Grease Ilex. We're gonna play it a little conservative and leave up leave up the disdainful stroke for sure. I mean at some point we can burn down the house. Galissa. Well, let's start ticking up. We kinda wanna burn down the house before we jace, because burn down the house will kill the jace. Yeah, I think it's I think it's time to do some burning. This is a little unfortunate because it does give our w opponent a window to resolve Shieldred if they draw land. But yeah, kill the Miglaz, kill the Glissa. All right, no, no shielder for one turn, please. Okay, Gix. We can shut down Gix with Jace. I think we're gonna complete it, actually. Yeah, Jace, completed Jace plus 
Leaving up disdainful stroke sounds right. So let's shut down the gigs for now. We can keep taking up the Silex too to get the gigs next turn. Jace has been a surprise. It's really not bad. Ugh. Oh, yeah, that's gonna that's gonna get our disdainful stroke. Unleash gets Jace and the Filigree Silex. That is like the full blowout. And yeah, tick up. Opponent, would you like to attack for zero? <laughs> okay, yes. Yes, opponent would. Rebels elbow, eh? Are we going to commit to blowing the Silex? Really want to draw with Jace. We need to hit our lands. That's our biggest issue right now, is just not hitting our lands. Well, Milia, draw all will be one. Bah, yeah, play the bank buster. This is fine. We can fill Grease Ilex the Gix, draw with bank buster, and then we have Rebel Salvo if our opponent finds, ooh. This is okay-ish. So blow the fill Grease Ilex, blow up the Gix. Draw with bank buster. Another rebel. Wow, where's our lands? Where are our lands? Do we have to bank buster draw just to try to hit our lands? Ooh, we really need one more land. Well, take up on Halan and Elena. <laughs> negative, negative power. Does that mean that if our opponent uses it, they get a negative one, negative one counter? It should mean that, right? I mean, technically, counters equal to its power would be <laughs> negative. Oh, Miglas, okay. Sure. And Hajar, well. Yeah, let's kill the Miglaws. <sighs> this is kind of unfortunate. So opponent, yeah, negative one, negative one counter, please. <laughs> no, it doesn't actually do that. Unfortunately, our opponent still gets haste here. Kills our Jace. Not good, not good. Maybe we should have killed the Halan and Elena? The Miglots is, really, I don't even know. Ugh, still not a land. Okay, we gotta go Desperation. Oh no, Arena! Oh. Well. Uh, it didn't tap the blast sound. This is, I will say, if you decide to play this deck, it is the one of the worst auto tapper decks I've ever played. Auto tapper really likes to leave blast zone untapped, even when you can't activate it. Really likes to use tablet of completion, even when you don't need it. Like the, what it prioritizes with this deck is really, really awkward. So you gotta do a lot of manual tapping. Keep that in mind. Like a huge percentage of my mistakes with this deck come from exactly that. Game three, on the play, Storm Carve Coast. Hand looks pretty good. We got removal, we got a Jaya. Sulfur Springs, and we might not have a Jaya. <laughs> well, they take the tablet, interesting. Huh, scared of the tablet? Maybe tablet's good if opponents are dressing it. Maybe it's better than we thought. Opponent, Hajar. Seems like a pretty good start though. We get to kill something and then start playing Planeswalkers. If we can find it all, we'll be one. A uh, Dax, and yeah, let's. And Liliana. Well, we get to play a Planeswalker of our own. Probably, I don't even know, Jaya, I guess? Jaya make tokens to pressure Liliana is probably the way to go. Take it up. We can definitely discard the Filgree Silex to keep the cough to you. Take it down, okay. Miglaz, sure. Opponent passes. Oh, we could try to draw and hit removal, but that seems so sketchy. Yeah, let's just make a monk. I don't know if we want to play a Tuara. It might be better to hold on to. Let's just, let's just a Tuara the Miglaz, I think, and wait on the Koth. Oh, this hand, if we could find a all will be one, could deal some damages. Koth actually is one of the better all will be one Planeswalkers just because it, oh no. So there goes our Jaya. Well. Koth's time to shine. Can you do it, Koth? Are you good enough to beat a Miglaz and a Liliana? Bounce the Miglaz, I think. Koth actually might be good here. It gives us cards to discard to Liliana, at least. Like, that's a, that's an upside. Opponent takes up. Filgree Xylix down. Opponent, wow, discards the Miglaz. Oh my god, that's all will be one, too. Okay, so, Koth. Take up Goth, get a mountain. Awkwardly, we do have to hold on to the mountain to discard to Liliana. We can hit Lily to two. Next turn, we should be able to get down all will be one though. Opponent. They need something pretty good. Ooh, Thrun. I don't know how we ever deal with that. Well, that is not going away anytime soon. Uh, play the mountain. All will be one. Take up Koth for a mountain. 
kill the lily. That's my cue to leave. Get a mountain. All right, can we beat Thrun? Five, five, trample, never going to be able to kill it. <laughs> Shoulders edict. All right, there goes our cough. We have all will be one, but we got nothing else. Literally nothing else. Is all will be one enough? Pona hits us for five down to fit. This is going to be interesting. We need something with counters. A plane, a planeswalker would be the best. And then we just got to try to race, I think. We got a damage race because we can't target the Thrun. That Jace counts. Five damage, and then it triggers prowess, six, seven. And it's card draw. Okay, it's going to be a race. The weirdest race in uh, in standard. All will be one versus Thrun. I mean, I guess that's kind of Mirren versus Phyrexia, right? We're the Phyrexian side. All right, Jace, full price. Prowess, hit you for five. With all will be one. And then I think we just draw and hope that our opponent... Hope that our opponent uh, attacks the Jace for a turn. So mill some cards, draw, strangle. Strangle doesn't do a ton. Down to 10. Opponent untaps. I mean, strangle might answer something in the future. Oh no, 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 no. Well. That makes things super hard. Now there's no way we're beating Thrun. Blast zone, hit you for one. Yeah, losing all would be ones. Oh no, a lot of Elena. Tick up the blast zone to four. Oh, this looks bad. We can strangle the Halan and Elena. I don't even know what we can. Icker Moon Gauntlet. Oh wait, does that? I think this does it. Oh my God, that's gonna do it. Wow. Okay, Icker Moon, land, strangle Halan and Elena. Get a counter on Blast Zone, exactly enough mana, and we get to kill the Thrun. Oh my god. Wow, what a draw. Acre Moon Gauntlet coming through. Opponent down to six. We actually killed the Thrun. I didn't think that was possible. Opponent glisses. We draw oh, nothing. Okay, so we're back to doing nothing. Pass the turn. Just a land goes to combat. I mean, we're going to chump. We don't want you drawing cards. We draw Jaya, okay. I mean, that can make jump blockers. Take off, we had the all would be one, we would have won by now. Although I guess we can't complain because that Icker Moon Gauntlet, we were dead. <laughs> Our opponent is dead with that Thrun and Icker Moon Gauntlet with Blast Zone came through. All right, tick it up, about it. I will say Glissa has not been that impressive in a lot of matchups. It gets chump for days. It's good in combat. Like you can't attack through it or block it easily, but it does get like, it does just get chump forever or it dies against the black decks. It just dies. Oh, I still can't believe that Icker Moon Gauntlet blast on play. I mean, I guess that's part of the sneaky power of Icker Moon Gauntlet. What a game. This has been a ridiculous game. Like straight up ridiculous. Pona gets in with Glissa. We're going to block. Nissa. Oh God. Okay. Nissa. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go card draw mode. All will be one. All will be one. Regular bank buster. Oh my goodness, we did it. We did it. We actually did it. <laughs> yes, Iker Moon, all will be one. They both came through. Yeah, bank buster. Three counters. We get a bonus one from Iker Moon Gauntlet. Ping you for one. Regular bank buster, ping you for three, and we got there in what a game. Sweet, 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 sweet. Against the odds time, we are playing some Is It Icker Moon Gauntlet in standard, and Sandil has a lot of power. Has a lot of power. Jace Koth, Fable the Mirror Breaker, and all will be one. We'll see what our opponent's up to. As long as we don't get run over super quick, this sounds kind of insane. Hello to you, Swamp, and Evolve Sleeper. A braid is a nice draw. A braid lets us kill the Evolve Sleeper. Opponent attacks. And you know what? If it's just one, we'll take it. If they level up, we'll kill it. All right, down to 19. They might play like a Misery Shade, which we would rather kill. Tenacious Underdog. Um, huh. Yeah, let's still, let's kill the Sleeper. Kill the Sleeper. Play the Blast Zone. Play the Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Jace is pretty good at slowing down Tenacious Underdog. I mean, 
if we can somehow just get down this all will be one who these planeswalkers are so much damage main deck duress i mean thankfully we have a handful of really good cards but they're gonna take our all will be one i think they almost have to right i mean unless if they have invoked despair maybe they don't wow takes the jace i mean cough all will be one is some damages i mean if we get a chance we will attack and play all will be one so quick here can you kill the goblin all right opponent can kill the goblin discard a blast zone play a land play a cough take up cough get him out and thin the deck and pass the turn all right manages to get rid of the cough hits us down to 13. now flip the saga Whoa. all right all will be one number one pass the turn anything that adds counters now is absurd worst case we got the blast zone for very slow damage uh you know what? we're just gonna take this down to down to 10. we kind of want an enchantment left on the battlefield opponent cut down sure passes how bad is going to seven you know what play it Tuara. play all will be one pass the turn so we're dropping to seven but then hopefully these all will be ones take over the game legend rules shieldred soar in the mirthless okay wow takes it up sure 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 finds a shieldred okay what do we draw just a land well play the land it's blast zone time pass the turn oh wait we win right <laughs> blast zone all will be one is just gonna kill our opponent here down to four well uh yeah we will add three counters at your face <laughs> wow okay <laughs> and then we will untap and we will play a blast zone hit your face and then do it one more time add three counters <laughs> yeah all will be one double all will be one is gonna be enough here we would like to add some counters yes we would like to throw six damage at your face and uh yeah that uh that worked <laughs> somehow well we didn't draw the icker moon gauntlet but we saw oh be one kind of go off what do we want against mono black disdainful strokes negates maybe burn down the houses we'll cut the abrades we'll go down two tablets of completion one cough one strangle maybe we go one burn down the house let's try it like that a fill grease ilex keep the second bird down the house all right well oh be one throws a lot of damage sometimes i mean we did benefit a little bit from our opponent stumbling and bumbling around with their lands but cool look at those planeswalkers we'll try it not a very fast hand but jace can come down on turn three wow looking like a super friends deck we'd love to draw like an early game removal spell well fable's actually pretty good a bonus land graveyard trespasser well land and fable of the mirror breaker gonna get in and hit us graveyard trespasser is pretty good against jace removal not shield red oh shield red okay well kill the shield red loot away a jace play the mountain hit you with a goblin make a treasure ship the turn all right no more shieldreds no more shieldreds bone it sees our busted hand shieldred is pretty good against this hand all right takes the biggest baddest planeswalker to fairy gets and hits us yeah jace lines up really awkwardly with graveyard trespasser <laughs> down to 12. who all right this is good though we get to flip the fable yeah go to combat get in with the goblin get a treasure play the land play a jaya make a prowess dork where's our acre moon gauntlets have not seen an acre moon gauntlet this game uh fable the mirror breaker number two prowess trigger <laughs> i mean i'm feeling kind of stable at the moment we got a lot of tutus if you make enough tutus they can stop at three three <laughs> words words of wisdom from today's against the odds Pound it. Gonna kill the fable. Sure. Cards in graveyard three. So we're a long way away from drawing three with Jays. Sack a gabo. Sack, sack. I mean, if our opponent attacks, we will double block. 
All right, opponent's gonna get in. Jace on an empty board is sweet. Maybe this means they have another invoke to spare. That's less sweet. All right, block and also block. Full price, Jace. Milia draw. Play them out and pass the turn. All right, no, no more invokes, please. Second invoke would be really brutal here. Opponent, land, passes. Ooh, Bankbuster's nice. Well, Jace. I will clear. Play the land, play the Bankbuster, and pass the turn. Could really use an Ickermoon Gauntlet to start putting counters on this Jace. Found it. Take Numa. Well, I assume this means Shieldred's coming back. We can survive it for a minute until we hit another removal spell. Yeah, Snake Shieldred. Opponent goes with a bank buster and ooh, all right gonna wait on the shield or interesting Play as a land. I think they're trying to protect the shield or it seems like is the idea We draw a lot of nothingness uh, blast zone Tick up Jace. Let's just pass for now. We can channel this Sakens on to chump block. All right, there's shield red in response Draw a card. Come on, removal. Oh, negate. Well, negate's not horrible. Opponent. And trigger to gain life. Wrecking her bank buster. One, two, yeah, let's just channel this. Channel this, make some one ones. Opponent gets another bank buster. So we gotta find removal for Shieldred in the near future. Uh, yeah. I mean, a Tora kind of works. Play the land, tick up on Shieldred, and pass the turn. So we can try to Atuara the Shieldred. Our opponent can Plaza of Heroes potentially to save it. We're actually kind of hoping they draw like an Invoke Despair or something. That would be the, the best case here. I guess there's a world where we take a Blast Zone to kill it. All right, gonna draw with a Bag Buster. Gain a bit of life. Nice 1-5 opponent. <laughs> Jace, I will say, has been better than I expected. The plus one is actually actually pretty decent defense. Opponent, bank buster, draws. Trigger shielder to gain life. We don't really care about the life gain. Like, if we get to the point of winning, we're gonna win by a lot. Uh, opponent, invoke despair. Okay, this actually works out perfectly because we get to negate the invoke despair. Bounce the shield red. So we get out from under that for a turn. Bounce shield red. Another blast zone. Untap. Well, mill you draw with Jace. No secret escape. Ugh, fizzling. Fizzling. Tablet of completion. Blast zone number two. Yeah, I guess we just pass. Hmm. Yeah, we were definitely hoping to hit more card draw or something there. More of something would have been helpful. Opponent. We've drawn a lot of lands and not a ton else. Opponent. Shieldred returns. And draws with Bankbuster. Gains a bit of life. And Graveyard Trespassa. Well, okay. Oh, no, we can't deal with that, can we? It's gonna flip, right? It should flip. Yeah, opponents cast two spells, so it'll flip. All right, I mean, exile some stuff. Wow, we're gonna have to blast zone this shielded, which is kind of awkward. Passes. One, two, three. Add three counters. We really need a good draw here. Take up tablet of completion. Untap. Sack the Blast Zone. We do lose our Jace, but... Sack the Blast Zone. And the Jace, unfortunately. Draw a card. Oh, there's our Ickermoon Gauntlet. Play Ickermoon Gauntlet. Strangle the Graveyard Trespasser. Add a counter to Tablet of Completion. Opponent Cruise, that's fine. We were not planning on attacking those turn anyway. Uh, discard Shiv and Reeve. Well, we are officially out of cards and past the turn. We did find our Ickermoon Gauntlet. Can we find something to go with it? And what does our opponent find? We are down to 10. Like another shield or to invoke despair is very, very scary here. This is still a bit away from drawing cards. Soul transfer to get back shielded again. Ugh. 
All right, we have not been able to deal with this shieldred permanently. That's for sure. Draws a card and gains some life. Yep, yep, yep. Well, shieldred removal would also be good. And another bank buster. Well, okay, so put an oil counter on here. Take up our blast zone. We have so much mana, the treasure's not really doing much here anyway. The infinite shield red spawn at Bank Buster 3. We've mostly just we've mostly just gotten out bank bustered, I think. Opponents drawn three, we've drawn one. Yeah. So we get drained to eight. Playing Acre Moon Gauntlet. Add a counter to tablet of completion. Pass the turn. Not feeling good though. Because of the shield red. Opponent. Oh, we dealt with like three shieldreds or something too. This one just keeps coming back. Found it. Draws with Bank Buster. Plays a land. Oh, here comes the crew. All right, opponent crews a Bank Buster. Crews a Bank Buster. Blitz is an underdog. Opponent attacks. Opponent attacks. Well, I mean, this isn't the worst. Uh, we will crew. Oh, we got a lot of stuff we have to deal with here. Block, block, block. This Plaza of Heroes might actually be an issue. So we stay at eight for now. Oh, opponent just lets it go. Yeah, that is an issue. Well, take a blast on to four. Although this Plaza of Heroes can still save the shield red. Yeah, I think this, what, third shielded might get us. Take up tablet. Opponent gets to draw. Yeah, opponent's just drawn 12 more cards than us. They've just drawn way too many bank. Oh my god, another land. Yeah, and then, well, I mean, tablet of completion. Draw down to four. We need an answer right now. Land and land and dead. So that was a lot of shieldreds. Really, I think it's the bank busters. I think the bank buster was a problem. Opponent drew a million bank busters and we drew one. Good news is we're on the play for game number three. Maybe this is the game we draw the bank busters. We found the Ikramoon Gauntlet, but by the time we got it going, it was too late. We're gonna keep this. No blue mana is a bit sketchy. But we have all will be one, which is great. And we can potentially sort of ramp into Jaya. And I guess it's not like we have any early game blue cards anyway. Duress on tablet would actually be obnoxious here. Evil sleeper. Oh, play the land. Tablet of completion. Start ticking it up. I mean, we do still need blue mana. Opponent land. And duresses. Well, let's tick up. Let's see what our opponent takes. I mean, Revel Salvo, we can cast this turn. But in the long term, all will be one in Jaya, and even Teferi are more powerful. So maybe our opponent just has to let the Rebel Salvo stick? All right, they do take the Rebel Salvo. So opponent's gonna go aggro. Gets and hits us. The mana screw continues. And a Graveyard Trespasser, well, take up. Eats the Rebel Salvo. Well, there's a blue mana. Yeah, I mean, I think we gotta play all will be one. We're gonna take a huge attack here, but we get to untap with all will be one, which is big. Gonna level up. Hit us for six. Opponent passes. So we can play Jaya, kill Graveyard Trespasser. We can play Jace, can't kill Graveyard Trespasser. Play Jaya. All will be one. Kill the graveyard trespasser. Discard the Teferi, unfortunately. Yeah. Unclear if this will be fast enough. And then take up Jaya. Snipe you for one. Make a monk. Pass the turn. Opponent's gotta have some removal in hand. All right. Kills the token. Sure. Hopefully there's no Invoke Despair. Do they go face? Do they go after Jaya? Oh, they have the land. Yeah, Invoke Despair is so bad for us here. That's kind of okay. Down to seven. Well, oil counter ping ya. One mind of blue source. All right, there's the blue source. Full price Jace. Kill the Evolve Sleeper. Take down Jace, draw a card. I will clear. And pass the turn. We need to find a counter, because an evoke will come eventually. We could also use Ikker Moon Gauntlet. All right, more soul transfers, sure. A bonus pass as well. Tablet, ping ya. 
There's a negate. Uh, well, in that case, Fable the Mirror Breaker. Ping ya. Pass the turd. So now we have a negate in case our opponent does draw Invoke Despair. And this tablet's eventually gonna draw us cards. Are we getting there? Are we taking down Mono Black? Icker Moon Fun Graveyard Trespasser. Okay, hits us down to five. Or maybe four. Okay, hits us down to five. Well, now we do need to kill the Graveyard Glutton. Opponent passing. Well, take up Tablet. Ping the Sleeper. Ooh, Reckoner Bank Buster is not bad. Ping the Sleeper. No looting. Add an oil counter. Ping the Sleeper. How many cards are in our opponent's graveyard? Eight. So we can Jace down to three. Discard Bank Buster. I feel like we have to keep the negate. Yeah, let's Jace. Actually, you know what? Let's not do it this way. Shieldred would be a problem. Let's instead Bank Buster. Discard the Jace. Because we gotta keep the negate. Hit ya. I mean, this is fine. We got the Bank Buster to draw cards. We got the negate. Still worried about Shieldred, because we don't have an answer to that cleanly at the moment. Opponent draws a Shieldred. Well, that is the one we were worried about. Hicker Moon Gauntlet. Okay. Is there any way we can do this? I don't think we can get enough counters. Wow, I can't believe they top deck Shieldred. Oh, what a what a draw for our opponent. The problem is we only have one turn left now, and that's not a lot of time. Well, hit the Shieldred. Flip the Saga. Go to combat. Get in with the Goblin. Make a treasure. Going to take it. Icker Moon Gauntlet. Pass the turn. It all comes down to this. Can we can we somehow kill our opponent this turn or find a way to kill the shield red? Going to be tough. We need we need something with counters. We have the Obi Wan. We just don't have a way to add enough counters. We can get one here. Some from Iker Moon Gauntlet. We can't draw cards though. Oh yes, yeah, is bad. This is bad. Well, we will block shield red. How about casting a non-creature spell? All right, opponent's going to pass. Well, tablet of completion. Oil counter, ping ya. Untap. Oh, I think Strangle can do it. Can it do it? Strangle for three, it can. Okay, so, wow. We drop to one, however, we draw a Strangle. Actually, do we attack first? I think we attack first. Get in with the Goblin, make a treasure. Strangle Shieldred. Reckoner Bank Buster. Ping Shieldred. Tablet of Completion, Ping Shieldred. Draw with Bank Buster. Okay, Rebel Salvo is actually helpful. That kind of covers all of our ba- Oh my God, I think we're gonna get there. About it. I think we actually have to negate the duress. Put a counter on Bank Buster, Ping ya. Cause if they take the Rebel Salvo and play another Shieldred, we die. Pass it. We untap. Well, draw with Bank Buster. Play the land, go to combat, hit you with a goblin. Opponent goes to seven, pass the turn, opponent untaps. Iker Moon, Iker Moon all will be one, all will be Iker. Wow, what a close game, what an interesting close game. Opponent, that's one we can't stop, oh my goodness, wow. That's the one card that we can't stop. Oh no. Bad news is we lost. Good news is we're playing against Mono Black, one of the best decks in standard, and our opponent had to top deck Shieldred into exactly Graveyard Trespasser to uh, to survive. There's no way we can win here, right? We can ping for a bit, but not enough. There is a creature in the graveyard, yeah. Yeah, I guess you can't win them all. Well, close game at least. Against yeah, Thod's time, we are playing some Is It Icker Moon Gauntlet? All will be one Wombo combo, I guess. Can Turbo Koth with these Icker Moon Gauntlets if we hit our land drops? No card draw at the moment. I mean, Koth, I guess, kind of draws a mountain. Uh, mountain go. The Puga? The Pugga? The Pugga. Well, land and Filgree Xylix. Start getting a little oily. I wonder if it's actually possible to get the to get the 10 damage 
win. Well, Playland and a Kermoon Gauntlet. Oh, no counters either. Okay, pass the turn. The question is, what do we do with the Filgree Silex? About it, plays a land. Phyrexian Flesh Gorgia. You know what? I think we're going to try to get 10 damage. This might be wrong, but... Ooh, we draw land, which is nice. I think we... Okay, I think what we do is perfect Jace. Add a counter to Filgree's Ilex. Strangle the Flesh Gorger. Add a counter to Jace. Pay the ward. Kill it. Mill, you draw a card. I know. Oh, wow, what is going on? What is happening? Storm the Festival. What is? What is happening? These are cards I've never seen. Okay. Oh, this has got to be... This has got to be a fight rigging deck. All right, take up Filgree Silex. Untap. Cash in Jace to draw a card. Your victory. We can improve by... Sack Filgree Silex. Get rid of the Kraken. And grab a mountain. So we hit our land drop. Land from Who do we play it? We can ultimate cough next turn. Yeah, I think we I think we do play it. Play it past the turn. Shenanigans. Shenanigans abound. Opponent. Gonna go right to reanimation mode. 10 10. But no actual abilities. Well, we're not killing that with Koth, that's for sure. No, play a Blast Zone. Play a Jaya. Blast Zone. Make a Prowess Monk. Grab a Mountain. Play a Bank Buster. Add a counter to Blast Zone. All right, we just gotta get this Blast Zone up to 10. No, no big deal, we're good. All right, we're gonna spin the fight rigging. Maybe we're not good. Who plays a 10-10 or a 10-mana 8-8? Eight eight? Like, who plays this card? How about it? Fight rigging, counter, makes it a 9-9. Nine nine. Yeah, we're not gonna strangle that, are we? Abonent, world spell. We need an all will be one, I think. More fight riggings. So that's gonna keep happening. Attacks the cough. I mean, we do get to chump it, right? I mean, blast on the fight rigging, but they still have the world. I don't even know. I don't even know anymore. We can proliferate the world spell just to get rid of it. That's probably not ideal. All right, opponent attacks cough. We will block. Thankfully, the 9 9 does not have trample. Opponent. Another fight rigging. Jeez, so many planeswalkers. Oh, they have so many bombs. This deck is full of big things. Can we take an extra turn? If we play this, proliferate up to nine. Jaya 10. Acre Moon Gauntlet. Add a counter to Koth. Jaya, proliferate. Are we going to the blast zone? Yes, counters on everything. Strangle the Woodcaller. Counter on Koth. Counter on Koth. Draw with Bank Buster. Play the land. Take an extra turn. Untap. Oh, there's all will be one too. Oh, opponent's still got a nine nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, all will be one. Add a counter to Jaya. Add a counter to Jaya. Play Tablet of Completion. Add a counter to Jaya, and Jaya. Snipe ya. Snipe ya. Oh, we could ultimate, but the ultimate doesn't do anything. So make a monk. Snipe ya. Pass the turn. Well, let's see what's under this next fight, friggin' opponent. I mean, we're going off. The problem is we're like really going off, but our opponent is also going off. And something like Titan of Industry is really annoying here. We actually took an extra turn though. Well, all right, Titan of Industry. So opponent can just hard cast Titan of Industry and that can blow up the all will be one and they get the fight rigging. Yeah, this is Veraska. okay. Oh, that must mean they have something pretty good under the, under the fight rigging. Treasures the token, fight rigging. Yeah, makes that thing huge, huge enough to kill our Jaya, Cruelty of Gix. Going to reanimate. Uh, wow, what a blowout. Yeah, opponent. 
Pony got the, the dream here, and this is everything. Everything all at once. Our deck did sweet things, but boy, our opponent believes in playing a lot of expensive cards. That curve is something. Well, we will put an oil counter on here and snipe the Veraska. I think we're to the scoop point of the game though. Opponent hits the Jaya. Yeah, there's no way, there's no way we can get there now. Yeah, we'll draw a card. Well, this was an interesting game. All right, well, we did cool things, but our opponent, wow, do they have a lot of eight drops in their deck. How can we actually fight this stuff? Unlicensed Hearse is coming in. Hullbreak Horror is gonna have to come in. Disdainful Strokes negates, I guess, coming in. We just do not have the removal that can deal with this. Go down Filgree Silex. Go down a, go down a Braid. Rebel Salvo. I mean, I don't know if we can go over the top of this deck. We did sweet things too, it just was not enough. I guess we got on a Koth, run it like that. Apparently nine drop tribal is a tough matchup for our deck. We get to play first. Wow, double smell, okay. We can kill early game creatures, that's something. That's something, land go. We did see like early ramp spells. Oh, well, that is honestly just game. <laughs> yeah, that is, that is absolutely the nightmare. A bonnet plays a forest and a reclusive taxidermist. Well, play a land and strangle the taxidermist. We really needed that bank buster to draw us Magic the Gathering cards. Without that, life is super bad. Opponent passes. Um, well, Blast Zone, Tablet of Completion, go. Opponent adapts. I mean, Hullbreak Horror is a card if we can get to it. Opponent, more duresses. Well, you can't take the Hullbreak Horror. Passing, well, Oil Counter, untap. Play the channel land, pass the turn. Well, okay. Take up the blast zone to three. Untap. Storm carve ghost. I guess we just pass in hull break horror, right? Yeah, let's just pass. Opponent, land. All right, take it up. If our opponent's not gonna play anything, I don't think we hull break horror. Disdainful Stroke is nice. Um, yeah, let's play Fable. And pass the turn. About it, untaps. Sure. Well, add some oil. Untap. I don't even know if we discard anything, honestly. Yeah, I think we keep it. Go to combat, get in with a goblin. Make a treasure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, play the land. I, this actually gets us to the point where we can hull break horror and disdainful stroke. Passing, well, I mean, if you're gonna do nothing, we will, wow. Opponent's deck looks so scary the first game. That game, it kinda did nothing. It duressed us twice and that was it. Like it just, it, it did literally nothing. Yeah, run it back i guess maybe we're all right maybe the maybe the icker moon power is is enough i will say this deck plays interesting games win or lose all right we'll try it tap land for our opponent tap land for us opponent land and taxidermist well sadly i think we need to kill the taxidermist play the blast zone past the turn all right, no, no whammies, no whammies. Wow, opponent. Wow, scoops, why? Why did they scoop it up? I'm so confused. Opponent's deck looked really, really cool in that first wild game and then just fell apart. I guess if they don't have any lands, well, take it, I guess. Against that's time, we are playing some Is It Ickermoon Gauntlet? in standard and no red mana but we do have a lot of colorless spells have not seen many aggro decks in this standard you see you see toxic once in a while but i am kind of surprised how little aggro is going on at this point someone's got to break aggro Ooh, all right white a eh? well land and yeah we probably just got a bank buster bank buster start drawing try to hit our our lands opponent planes also a regular bank buster uh, land please. Whew, okay, this is bad, this is real bad. We are trusting our bank buster, but our bank buster is failing us. Restoration of Ejanu. Gets a planes, oh god. Draw a card, can we hit a land? 
pool very painfully. Actually, you know what? Let's discard Filgree Silex. Discard Filgree Silex past the turn. So this has got to be like mono white angels or mid range or whatever. So gotta expect our opponent to have some some pretty good top end angels, sanctuary wardens and whatnot. Could be an Elish Norn deck. Our deck doesn't really care about Elish Norn. Sarah Paragon. Yeah, getting in there. Down to 16. No, my god, not a land. Okay. Uh, draw a card. Make a treasure. Yeah, I mean, I guess we fable. Oh, we have sweet cards in hand, too. We're just, like, really stumbling on our mana here. Opponent flips the saga. Whiffing on land drops is one thing. Whiffing on land drops when you're drawing with Bankbuster. Oh, it's the worst. Opponent, gonna crew it up. Gonna stay aggro. Hits us for a ton. Uh, we're just gonna take it. Oh, down to eight. Ossification. Oh, gonna hit our goblin, I assume. Yeah, looking looking a bit slow. Opponent passes. We do draw a land, but all right, discard two tablets of completion. Oh, if we had like one more turn. But I don't think we do, do we? Is there any way we can stabilize? So play Storm Carve Coast. There's just so many threats. Do we just play all? Uh, we don't really want to show all will be one if we're about to lose. Let's play a Bank Buster. Strangle Sarah Paragon. Abrade Sarah Paragon. Cast the turn, no attacks. If we can find a way to get on the all will be one, we got a shot. Oh, Elspeth. Oh, that can give stuff flying, can it? Yeah. Yeah, this with flying is going to going to be an issue. Wow, okay, taking down. Well, that is slightly better somehow. It means we don't die immediately. We probably still die next turn, but land. Show us a land. The old shield countered land. Well, that does not immediately kill us. Oh, I wish. Oh, if we could find a way to add a counter, we could all be one and kill the Elspeth. All right, opponent passes, makes a token. We untap. Just a land, flip the saga. So if we attack Elspeth, they're gonna block with the token. We can play all will be one, it just doesn't do anything yet. Same with Teferi. Play the Shivan Reef. I think we have to pass and see if we can use a Tuara to bounce whatever our opponent gives flying to to try to stay alive. Opponent, ambitious farmhand. Sure. Gets a planes. Has lay down arms to kill the reflection. That's also not ideal. All right, Architect of Restoration. Goes to combat. A Tuara. Bounce it. Not dead yet. Passing. Yeah, the saga returns, but we'll draw a card. Oh, if we can find a way to kill the Elspeth, I'd feel much better. Fable of the Mierbrega. Gets a plane. So on the wedding announcement, still doing things. We are back up to 11, thanks to the laydown arms. Yeah, opponent gets a planes. Makes a token. We draw, ooh, Filgree Silex. So I can kill the tokens, which is something. We could like crew bank buster, Filgree Silex the tokens, attack the Elspeth. That's probably our best plan, I think. Filgree Silex. Nuke the tokens. Attack the Elspeth. Opponent going to chump. Yeah, we're gonna, yeah, we gotta do this. So draw with Reckoner Bank Buster. Oh, and whiff, all right, play a Bank Buster. Really wanted to hit the land for Fable of the Mirror Breaker, but we need to Bank Buster, not only to try to hit a land, but also this let us make a token to crew Bank Buster next turn. Opponent reanimates. Oh yeah, we just, we've gotten too far behind to actually get down and all will be one here. That one turn of missing a land drop really slowed us down. Oh, I think that's going to, that's probably gonna be the end of us. Oh. Screws it up, hits us for five. Oh, we just don't have a way to, yeah, six. Yeah, it's Elspeth's going off. Best Elspeth we've seen in a long time, down to five. Dead on board, flips the wedding announcement. Oh, there's the removal, all right, yeah. That Miss Landrop, that Miss Landrop really destroyed us. Opponent, mono white, hull break horror in. 
burn down the house in feel gree silex in disdainful stroke definitely in i don't know maybe negate or the abrades like our opponent's not going to be super aggro early actually maybe that's not worth it it doesn't get planeswalkers we can go down a tablet maybe a cough we probably just need all the burn down the houses you know, one more tablet. Maybe that's too many counters. Maybe we can't bring in that many counters. We just can't bring in this many cards. So maybe we don't upgrade. An opponent just gets to do their bank buster stuff. We gotta cut one more of something. All right, three, three Phil Grease Ilexes. We're running like that. Come on, deck. Come on, deck. No missing land drops this game. Honestly, I don't know. Even if we didn't miss that land drop, our opponent had a pretty good draw there. They might have still run us over. All right, this hand I like. Early game removal, Reckoner Bank Buster for card draw, and Icar Moon Gauntlet for shenanigans. Uh, that last one was sad because we had the all will be ones in hand too. We could see them staring back at us. We just couldn't get them down. Opponent planes, passes. Well, land and Reckoner Bank Buster. Go. Opponent planes. Reckoner Bank Buster. Um, play the land. Fable of the Miabrega. And pass the turn. Roadside Reliquary. And wedding announcement. Rebel Salvo. Discard Strangle. Yeah, we're going to discard all of our removal here. This might be greedy, but we need lands. We need lands. Oh my god, we did not hit lands. That's doubly, triply awkward. Hit you with the Goblin, make a treasure. Wow, how are we missing lands now? Play another Fable of the Mirror Breaker, I guess. Trying to make the best of a less than ideal situation here. Missing these. Why are we missing our lands all of a sudden? No bone it. All right. Kills a goblin. And wedding announcement number two. Mm, getting in for one. Well, make some tokens. We draw seven drop. So flip the saga. Discard Icar Moon Gauntlet. I guess Holebreaker Horror. Oh, finally found a land. Not making it look easy. Um, play the land. Get in with the goblin. Make a treasure. Play all will be one. Pass the turn. Wow, we had to discard some really good magic, the gathering cards. Hall break horror and two removal cells and Acre Moon Gauntlet. That's what happens when you can't find a land. Pwn it, regular bank buster draws. I assume they're trying to find an answer to all will be one. Because if they don't, that's going to be a problem. Okay, sure, Spirited Companion. Oh, we're going to have a sweet turn here. Pwn it passes, make some tokens. Okay, all will be one triggers. Shoot our opponent's face. Flip the saga. Play cop. Shoot our opponent's face. Take up Goth for a mountain. Shoot a token. Oh, we lost. Play the mountain. Opponent's down to 11. I mean, if all will be one sticks, we might be able to just burn them out. Opponent, bank buster, sure. Land. Wow, okay, couldn't kill the all will be one. I mean, we missed some land drops, but in the end it didn't matter because all will be one is uh, quite the card. Run it back, I mean, the deck actually kind of worked out. I think I told this story in the deck deck, but I went through so many builds of Icar Moon Gauntlet. This is build seven, seven. <laughs> It might be a record, uh, at least a recent record, for the amount of different brews I went through before finally deciding on the one to play. And I think we ended up in a pretty sweet spot. Like, we actually ended up in a pretty sweet spot. It took a lot of brewing, it took a lot of work, took a lot of failure. I mean, I think that's a good lesson for brewing. And I guess probably for life, but just because you fail six times doesn't mean you won't succeed the seventh time. So you just gotta keep, you just gotta keep failing until you, uh, until it finally works. <laughs> That is that is the secret of success. Fail a lot. We're on the draw. Can we close it out strong? I assume our opponent's gonna have answers now. Now that they've seen the all will be one. You know what? We're keeping this. Little sketchy. Two lands, no blue mana, but whew, double acre moon gauntlet. And we have a sweeper. And I mean bank buster. We're gonna draw lands, right? We're gonna we're gonna draw lands. It's not like we're not gonna draw lands. When do we ever miss our land drops? Opponent planes pass us. Well, all right, regular bank buster. Go. How about a land? How about a land? Restoration of Ejano. All right, land off the top. Land off the top for Fable of the Mirror Breaker, and we should be fine. If we got a uh, main phase bank buster, it's pretty not great. All right, that's not a land. Bank buster. All right, 
I mean, we're doing it on hard mode, but we did hit the land. Pony gets to reanimate. Why do we make it look so hard? Wow, Spirited Companion. I always think that in like 99% of cases, the best thing to do is ramp. All right, there's a wedding announcement. And land, please. All right, we do hit a land, which is really nice. So play the land. I think we just have to pass awkwardly. This would be the turn something like Elspeth would come down, and I don't think we want Elspeth to come down. All right, we'll see what our opponent names. They might have to name Burn Down the House actually now, but if they name Burn Down the House, we can kill the Peacekeeper. I mean, we're mostly just trying to keep, keep the five and six drops from resolving. That's the goal. Yeah, this is a hard one. Because we've been struggling to hit our lands, uh, which has been typical this match, we have a handful of action. And some Maker Moon Gauntlets, which in the late game, look out, we're gonna get you. So if our opponent names Burn Down the House, draw with Bank Buster? I mean, we could. Wow. Wow. Icker Moon Gauntlet. I was not expecting that. Okay, draw with Bank Buster. All will be one. Well, there's a land. Does this go horribly wrong in some way? I'm so confused. If we Wrath here, our opponent could resolve something big. Sanctuary Warden's the biggest issue. We could just kill this and pass? Yeah, let's Rebel Salvo, kill the Architect. Pass the turn. I mean, in theory, we get to leave up a counter. If our opponent plays Sanctuary Warden, we counter it. If they don't, Bank Buster, draw, treasure, land, burn down the house next turn, and we get to leave up Disdainful Stroke? Oh, but, I mean, they know about the Disdainful Stroke. So perhaps less likely just to fire off their big finisher into it. All right, well, we will. Reckon our Bank Buster, draw a card. Ultimate it, make a treasure. It is a land, that's huge. Okay, that's what we were hoping for. So opponent gets to flip the wedding announcement. We untap. Play Shiv and Reef. Yeah, we will just burn down the house. Five damage to everything. Oh, this worked out pretty well, because now we get to leave up our counters, so we're still not just dead to... Oh, roadside Relic, where we draw one. We're still not just dead to, uh, to our opponent playing a Sanctuary Warden, which is a troubling card. Bank Buster, sure. You can join the card draw party, that is acceptable. Sadly, our bank buster's out of counters. We would like to add them. Well, I mean, oh, they gotta have enchantment removal. Let's one, two, three. Play a blast zone. One, two, three. Play an Iker Moon Gauntlet. Add a counter to your wedding announcement. Oh, it doesn't really do anything, but ha ha, got him. Well, there's double gauntlet. We still have our disdainful stroke up. Pony gets to start drawing a card. Oh, now we just need good things to put counters on. We can start doing blast zone shenanigans, I guess. A bonnet, land, and draws with the bank buster. Opponent's got a lot of cards, but they're not really doing much. All right, we're gonna counter. We're going to counter the Elspeth. This probably does clear the path for this probably does clear the path for a future Sanctuary Warden, but one, two, three, four, five. That is a Jace. A play all will be one. Take up the Blast Zone. Take up the Blast Zone. Play a Tuara. Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Do we want to take up the Blast Zone? Not really. Whenever you put one or more counters on a permanent player. All right, let's just, let's leave the Blast Zones for now. And just add counters to Wedding Announcement so we can snipe you. <laughs> All right. Trigger, trigger, ping ya. Goblin, go. All right, you can play your Sanctuary Warden opponent. You can play your Sanctuary Warden. <laughs> you did it. You fought through the counter. I mean, really though, they probably got to deal with the all will be one if they can. That is a scary, scary, scary card. It's been very impressive. I mean, we saw in game one, got stuck in our hand. That is a, that is a concern, but it has been way better than I would have thought. Oh God. Opponent blows up the world, including our all will be one. One, two, three, four. Jace, full price. Counter on blast zone. Oh, I wish we had a counter on our bank buster still so we could draw cards. So blast zone's on three and four, and also soon to be one. Mill you draw. 
Oh, those are those are three hits. Blast zone. Fill grease Ilex. Add some counters to Jace. Pass the turn. I mean, we can we can currently blow up zero mana, one mana, three mana, four mana permanence. <laughs> we have we have our beasts covered mana value wise. We really need this Jace to keep drawing cards though. That's the biggest thing we're lacking right now is is just card draw. That farewell really set us back. Okay. Ossifies Jace. I mean we can get it back with something. You're gonna crew the bank buster. Let's Rebel Salvo, the Bank Buster. Counter on Silex and Blast Zone. What a ridiculous game. Look at the synergies of this deck, though. Okay, there's a Sanctuary Warden. We knew that was a possibility. That might be the card that we can't keep up with. Oh, land, that's not good. Yeah, opponents outdrawn us by a lot here. So, Sack Filgree Silex to get back our Jace. Jays, we gotta draw. We gotta draw. We need to hit action. Mill you draw. Filgree Silex. We'll play Filgree Silex. Counter on Blast Zone. Counter on Blast Zone. That fair. If it wasn't for that farewell, that farewell got us real good. I think we would have won by now. Opponent Lauren. Sure. Uh, attacks the Jace. Are we drawing a card, please? Oh, opponent's not gonna draw a card. All right, so Jace down, unfortunately. Yup. Not looking good. Sags a roadside reliquary to draw one. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, this is so bad. Six. Put more charge counters on blast zone. Untap. Strangle the Sanctuary Warden. Counter on the Blast Zone. Pass the turn. In Blast Zones we trust. Opponent gonna draw a card. Yeah, the biggest issue is we just haven't had our card draw. We're getting uh, severely outdrawn this game. About it goes to combat. Attacks with everything. Well, sack the Blast Zone, kill the Sanctuary Warden. Drop to nine. Opponents draw on the bank busters. Hmm. Draws a card. Opponents, what, 25 cards, 30. Wow, yeah, we've gotten outdrawn by 12 cards. I guess it's I guess it's a miracle that we're alive, considering just how much we've been outdrawn here. Well, we finally hit a bank buster, but it's probably a smidge on the late side. Not putting counters on anything. Draw with bank buster. Play a land. Fable the Mirror Breaker, I guess. Counter on the Bank Buster. Make a token pass the turn. Standard is a grindy format, isn't it? Opponent untaps. Everybody draws. Oh my god, that's a Hull Break Horror. I mean, Hull Break Horror is a card that if we somehow survive, could actually maybe get us back in this game. Although we don't have any cards in hand right now, which is an issue. Cruise. Oh, we'll chump. Well, let's see what we draw. Hallbreak Horror is a card. That's another Sanctuary Warden, though. Uh, but it's Sanctuary Warden. You're gonna leave the counters. We untap. We draw a mountain. Definitely discarding the mountain. We need something to go with Hallbreak Horror. All will be one. That can't kill enough. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine mana. What can we do? I mean, I guess we just have to pass and see what our opponent does. All right, put on taps. So we can blow up the tokens with the filgree silex. Attacks. Are we drawing a card? No. Well, we will hull break horror. Drop to one. Opponent's got to kill the Hullbreak Horror. Lay down arms. Okay, at least we gain a bit of life. Back up to four. Wedding announcement. Yup. Oh, we're going to lose to Sanctuary Warden, aren't we? Well, draw with Bank Buster. What a close guy. All these games have been ridiculous. This deck just plays ridiculous. Ooh, all will be one. Or draws a card, rather. We draw a mountain. Our saga flips. Uh, the problem is we're at four. 
four in the sanctuary warden is lethal there's just no way for us to deal with it is there i'm not seeing i'm not seeing a way for us to deal with it those shield counters street of new capenna's infamous shield counter mechanic actually doing things yeah because we can't even afford to take a hit play the land so if we play all will be one yeah we don't have enough mana yeah we gotta we gotta draw with Bankbuster, I guess. This is desperation mode. What would it even be? Oh, uh, Disdainful Stroke. That's our answer, but we gotta have it before Sanctuary Warden hits the battlefield. And I think we have met our match. Yeah, that just, that does it. Can't stop the Sanctuary Warden. Wow, that was another ridiculous game. Like, the, all the games we played with this deck have been ridiculous. That game, we had it locked up. Like, we had it easy mode locked up. And then our opponent, they had farewell. Like, we were we were running away and just like going off with all will be one. But uh, the farewell, it's a, it's a brutal card and we didn't find the disdainful stroke in time. And then the shield counters actually ended up being shockingly relevant. That might be the, the oddest part. Like, these shield counters, if if it wasn't for that, we could easily like all will be one bank buster add a counter, like snipe down your sanctuary warden. The counters on the sanctuary warden actually kept us from being able to deal with it. So not a win, but boy, another long, interesting game against the odds time. We are playing some more Ickermoon gauntlet combo in standard. And uh, yes, we would like to play first and sand looks fine jace mode full on jace mode let's see how good jace is let's see how good jace is we can kill the first things our opponent plays hopefully draw land to play jace on an empty board and ooh, vindictive flame stoker eh well there's the land now yeah, play the land pass we can abrade something down to 19 and a bank buster uh actually maybe we just kill the bank buster that might be better yeah, let's just blow the bank buster. The Jace can handle the flame stoker for the time being. So bank buster down. Nope. Oh, should we just fable? Is that better? If we fable, we can full price Jace. Well, we do have two Jaces though. Yeah, let's let's see what Jace can do. Play a Jace. Take her up at this flame stoker. If our opponent hits us, we gain two life. <laughs> About it. Fable the mirror breaker. Yep. Passes. Kill the goblin. Play our own Fable of the Mirror Breaker. And yeah, let's just tick up again. Stop the Flame Stoker. Are we gonna discard Tablet of Completion? Probably. Ooh, Gix's Command Day. Eh? Card's really taken off. That card did not see any play at all, but Black is just so desperate for anything that's a sweeper. Gix's Command is, is starting to show up a little bit. Power Tour less is such a restricted sweeper. Uh, boon it. I guess we're not gonna have to choose if we discard our tap, tap with a completion. Passes, ooh, Koth. That's pretty spicy. Yeah, let's get in and make a treasure. I think we're just kind of doing the same thing. Hit you down to 17, play a cough, take it up for a mountain. Play the mountain, tablet of completion. And then, this is not the worst turn to draw. They can only hit us for one. <sighs> yeah, let's play it safe. We'll just take up again and take up the tablet. I mean, we got planeswalkers with a lot of loyalty. We might have to use Koth as removal, we'll see. We got three mountains, so we can snipe the reflections at least. Opponent and Glisa. Okay, sure. Well, yeah, I think we need to kill reflections. So take down, yeah, kill reflections. The problem is eventually our opponent's gonna draw Planeswalker removal. So just taking up forever is, it's slowing our opponent down, but it's not really furthering our game plan. But we also don't wanna get hit by Glissa. I mean, we can channel the Soken Zen to make chump blockers, so let's draw. Yeah, I guess we just pass and make one ones. We need to keep our streak of Glissa doing nothing alive. I don't know if I've ever seen Glissa trigger in this standard. It just doesn't happen. All right, opponent's gonna kill the goblin. So Indictive Flame Stoker is actually starting to get to the point where it's gonna draw cards. Maybe we should have killed that at some point. Opponent drawing four is not ideal. We would prefer that not to happen. Both at cough. Well, make some one ones. Block the Glissa. Block the Flame Stoker. Oh, uh, it. Fable of the Mirror Breaker. All right, take up the tablet. So we've got to mana mode. Ooh, Iker Moon Gauntlet. We play Iker Moon. We play tablet. This kind of works, right? Iker Moon, tablet. Add a counter to Koth. 
death, maybe, so it doesn't die and then tick down. Yeah, let's do that. So, Acre Moon counter on Cough. Cough removal mode on Glissa. Proliferate. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, boy. Tablet completion. Tablet of completion, Punt City. Yeah, we should have tapped this first so we can add a counter to it. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Found it, gonna do some looting. Yeah, that was that was a small mistake. I mean, I assume they're gonna kill the Koth. Yeah, kills the Koth and hits the Jace. Well, now we will take up Tablet. <laughs> what a waste, what a waste. I mean, Tablets are gonna start drawing cards soon, at least the first one. Uh, but it plays a land. Teachings of the Kirin. Uh, this flame stoker is gonna draw a lot of cards and we can't really stop it blood tithe harvest uh yes yeah, so opponent gets to refuel let's see how bad this is for us i'll take up the tablet and opponent passes a braid they can activate flame stoker in response maybe we don't kill that then well we gotta kill something what an awkward position boy where's our all will be one all be one would be so good here Pass the turn, leave up the abrade. Probably the thing we, since we can't deal with the flame stoker, probably the thing we have to deal with most is the reflections of Kiki Jiki. Yeah, opponent, gonna cash it in, gonna draw four. Wow, flame stoker, going off, going off. Opponent, new hand assembled. Counter on the dork, flips the saga. Ah, oh goodness, okay. Main phase cycling, you love to see it. That makes us feel a little safer. That means our opponent did not just draw into like four amazing cards. If your main phase cycling a triumph, things have went a little wrong. Well, kill the reflection. Get the fifth counter on tablet so we can actually start drawing with tablet. Opponent can hit the Jace but can't kill the Jace. Well, we might as well draw and see if we can, maybe we hit another removal spell or something. Bless you. Well, take up the tablet, Jace down to one. And opponent plays a land. And, wow, sex. they must have drawn to like four lands. Our opponent spent most of their turn just cycling and using blood tokens to get rid of the four cards they drew. Oh, Rebel Salvo, okay, okay, that can answer something. Oh, play the Blast Zone. Jace. A little bit of awkwardness here, like Blast Zone on two deals with a lot of our opponent's board, but it also deals with our tablets of completion and we really would like to draw some cards. We've, we've put so much work and so many punts into powering these up. <laughs> we don't want to just blast zone them all away already. Oh, Fable, okay, Fable's good. Play the Fable. I mean, at some point we might have to blast zone away our tablets. Kind of around blast zone. Acre Moon Gauntlet is pretty sweet. Like, ah, oh, the synergies are super cool. There's not another card in standard that really does what Acre Moon does. Untapping, two drop tribal. Flips the Saga. And the Goblin, sure. So Jace is gonna die, but we do have a replacement. If our opponent gets too greedy with her, eh, okay. They attack with just one thing, we probably kill it and try to keep Jace one more turn. Well, Jace down, we take two. Plays a land. Tegnuma, okay. Outland Liberator? Oh, Tyvar, okay, that makes sense. And then Tyvar can get back something else. Ooh, oh, it's a Tyvar deck, that's spicy. That makes all the two drops make a ton of sense. Like, Tyvar, Tyvar is at its best getting back two drops. All right, there's a Trap Breaker, can blow up something. Yeah, we might actually be in trouble now. All right, hits the Fable. Well, I think we have to kill the Tyvar. Add a counter to the tablet. Oh, we need a Sweeper or something. We don't even really have a Sweeper in the main deck. Jaya. At what point do we just cash in our tablets? We want to draw as many cards as possible before we do that. Hmm. Yeah, let's play Completed Jays. Tablet of Completion. Oh, we're down to 12. That's not a ton of life. Jays. Draw three cards. We have finally got enough cards in our opponent's graveyard to turn Jace into mini Ancestral Recall. 
Play the Shivan Reef. Well, I guess Bank Buster. That gives us card draw. That gives us card draw that we can use after we blast zone. We really want an all will be one. Let's just pass. Oh, these tablets. <laughs> so much time and effort wasted. But I think we're gonna have to blast zone. Attacks of Jace. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't think we can afford to take that much. Things are getting sketchy. All right, opponent, gonna eat a cough. Help draw a card. Use the tablet while we can. Ooh, strangle. All right, yeah, let's let's try to keep our tablets. Down to five. Oh. Our card draw, we need our card draw. Opponent goes back to sacking blood, discarding lands. And a bank buster, okay. Well, that makes the blast zone a little better. Take up the tablet. Well, now at least we can draw two more cards before we, ooh, another Jace. <gasps> 17 cards? Can we just win here? Is this the Acre Moon Gauntlet win? So we play Jace, full price, five counters. Oh my God, a G we're gonna get a Jace win. Oh, we're gonna get a Jace win. Counter on tablet, whatever, doesn't really matter. Opponent needs instant speed planeswalker removal. Strangle. Put a counter on the Jace. Wow. Wait, is Jace is Jace actually good? Okay. Six times three equals opponent dead. <laughs> that should be the whole library, right? Mill 18? We just stalled out long enough for Jace to win. <laughs> because of Iker, we needed the Iker Moon Gauntlet counter though. Like if we didn't have the Iker Moon Gauntlet counter, it wouldn't have been enough. Like Iker Moon was the card that did it. Opponent going out on their old dirt cycles the door is proving grounds. And ooh, okay. Maybe Jace is actually, uh, is actually a little better than I gave it credit for. It was good there at least. Let's bring in a bit of graveyard date, especially since we're milling our opponent. Burn down the house also seems pretty helpful. Uh, yeah, trim a tablet, fill grease Ilex, maybe a rebel salvo. Opponent stuff is mostly cheap. I don't even know. We gotta cut one more of something. Maybe we go one hearse. Let's jace him. If we draw one land, this hand's pretty good. But we are in the draw. We're gonna try it, it'll be fine. Okay, Atwara, that's good. So that gets us to Bank Buster and Tablet of Completion. Never punish, never punish. About it, Bank Buster. Hmm, well we might have some color issues, but we are hitting our lands at least. Tablet or Bank Buster? I mean, I guess we can have a land for next turn anyway, so let's Tablet. Take her up. I mean, if we just ramp into Teferi, gonna draw a lot of cards. All right, Terra Sunder. Tablet must be a little bit scary for people. Oh no. Do they take our bank buster too? Uh-oh. Oh, we might get punished for another reason here. Our one land, one keep, we've drawn our land, so that's fine. The problem is they've been all blue. So we we can't cast most of our hand. Yeah, opponent takes a bank buster. Oh, blast zone. Uh, uh-huh, we'll play that, I guess. Mono, mono blue, Iker Moon Gauntlet here. Babel of the Mirror Breaker. Well, let's start taking up this blast zone. Yeah, opponent gets a goblin. Okay, more red cards. <laughs> well, we haven't missed a land drop. So we didn't really get punished for keeping the one lander, but we are not gonna be able to cast our hand here. Opponent gets to do some looting. Discards Gixxis, eh, we might be in trouble this time. In a bit of trouble, opponent gets in, it's us. Down 18 and red mana. Oh, okay. Maybe we're still in this. We need another red source, but yeah, let's. Oh, we really need the red source. That is the most important thing. Red source, we can clean up the goblin, we can clean up the fable. Let's run out fable. If they can't kill the goblin, then that treasure might let us burn down the house, and that might that might be relevant. Worst case, if they can kill it, then hopefully we can loot into red mana. Oh, uh, it gonna draw a card. Sure, sure, sure. Undaps. Flips the fable. Yeah, we really need this burn down the house to go off, I think. Oh, okay. We doubly, triply need this burn down the house to go off. Well, we just need to hit a red source off this. We get a draw step and two draws with Fable, the Mirror Breaker. As long as we hit a red source, we're in pretty, pretty good shape. Oh, that makes things a lot worse. Duress on the burn down the house. Now what? Discard, discard. Guess we we're gonna hit lands anyway. Strangle the reflection. Yeah, we are making this look difficult. Full price. 
and tick up on the goblin. Opponent can still make a treasure, but they can't really use it to crew. Does our opponent draw? They have to cash in both treasures. Yeah, all right. Opponent, one card worth more than two treasures, untaps. Oh yeah, I mean, I think we gotta keep the fairy here. Oh, all right, there goes our chase. Gets in, makes a treasure. So we get to flip the fable. Ooh, tie bar. Nothing, nothing relevant in the graveyard though. Untaps the goblin. Well, flip the saga. Play the land, play the Teferi. Make a token. Go. Well, we got double red finally. We've achieved our double red goal. Opponent's gonna dig down. Yeah, sack the token. Really want this Teferi to live so we can draw cards. Opponent gets and hits us. Or hits to fairy. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna catch in the reflection. Reflection's a kiki jiki. Doesn't really do much in our deck. Like it's more the filtering and the token. Like it's not like we're trying to copy things really. Opponent gonna dig down and ooh ooh. They didn't have anything in their graveyard, right? So if they whip, they got nothing. Hits a blood tithe harvester, so it worked out. Oh, that's a risky type of activation. Get a counter on to fairy. Draw a card with to fairy. Icker moon gauntlet. Play the land, play the gauntlet. We might be able to keep Teferi one more turn. If our opponent tries to crew it and kill with the bank buster, we can... Oh, actually, they get the token, right? Hmm. Well, we'll see. If they crew the bank buster, we can blast zone. I guess it's going to save the Teferi either way, because it kills the blood tithe harvester. Although our opponent can reanimate it again. Tyver? Tyver's doing something now. Opponent discards a duress. Yeah, not very good if your opponent's empty-handed. Untaps and... Well, I mean, this is the Blast Zone dream. Face into Fairy. Well, we will sack the Blast Zone. Wipe them both out. To Fairy survives. Tyvar takes it down, gets back Blood Tithe Harvester. Could use a Jace. Ooh, so many Blood Tithe Harvesters. Oh, ticking up. Interesting. Jai is nice. We will take all the Planeswalkers at this point. Yeah, let's just draw. Removal, well, Blast Zone's kinda Not removal. Bad. Kinda, sorta. Play the Blast Zone, play the... And I think we start adding counters to the Blast Zone. Blast Zone on two seems pretty good. <laughs> pretty good against our opponent. They get a lot of twos. We could draw, yeah. Monk to chump block makes the most sense, I think. Mega Monk, pass the turn. I mean, the longer we can keep our Planeswalkers alive, the more likely we are to win. Tyver does let our opponent activate Blood Ties with haste, right? It's kind of, uh, Blood Tie Tyver seems, actually seems pretty good. Out of all the standard synergies, that might be the best. Just leave our Planeswalkers alone. Let us draw our cards. Find our all will be one. <laughs> Complete you a little bit. All right. Oh no, oh, they don't have any blood. They cash them all in. <laughs> just kidding. The monk survives. I just assume they had blood. They've had so many blood tithe harvesters reanimated. Gix's command, get back some blood tithe harvesters. Add some counters to the dork. Oh, that might actually be a, a meaningful punt here. We'll see. All right, so I can like blood tithe, kill the token, blood tithe, reanimate blood tithe. So many blood ties. Bone it, goes combat attacks to fairy. Oh, wow, we're gonna get to block? All right, we will, we will snap block. Blood tithe harvester. And do we got a, do we got a blood tithe harvester? You got the blood this time. Okay, just untaps. I guess they are trying to play around the blast zone too. More Jaius. Take up to fairy. Draw a card. It's a land. Jaya. Bankbuster Fable. I guess Fable gives us an immediate blocker, and then we can discard the Jaya next turn, maybe? Counter on Jaya. And ship the turn. I mean, we have our Blast Zone at the ready, so we can deal with the Blood Tithe Harvesters again. Oh, then Tyver can get them back again. Don't cash in your blood and then activate your Blood Tithe, please. Use your Blood Tithe first. Duress. Well, okay, there goes the Jaya. I guess that's all right. We were planning on discarding it most likely anyway, but that does give us one less card to discard to Fable. Taking down the Tyvar. 
Hey, it's Blood Tithe Harvester. This is like Blood Tithe Harvester Tribal, my god. I, I can lost count at this point. Is this like the eighth Blood Tithe Harvester that's entered the battlefield this game? Opponent Blood Tithe Harvester kills a Gabo. All we really care about is our Planeswalkers going it to Fairy. Uh oh, well, I mean, Teferi's live, so this is fine. Like, as long as Teferi sticks around to keep drawing his cards, two loyalty doesn't really matter. Teaching to the Kirin. And this gives us another turn with Blast Zone, and that's more two drops being added to the battlefield, so it's getting better. Passes. Hmm. <laughs> I'll be one, eh? <laughs> you don't say. Very good. All will be one. Guess to fairy. Wait, should we just proliferate? One, two, three, four counters? Yeah, let's proliferate with Jaya. Oh, this is so good. Four counters added. Four damage from all will be one. Snipe your tokens. Get them out of here. Oh, I think we're good now. I think we might be good now. And now we can do this again. Yeah, okay, put us down to just a Blood Tithe Harvester. We need to flip our Fable of the Mirror Breaker and then to Fairy Proliferate. We're adding counters to our Blast Zone, even though that means we can't really use it anymore, but I think it's worth it. Let's add a, can we counter our opponent's stuff? One, two, ooh, oh, we can. Oh, that's interesting. And opponent scoops it up. Wow, what a win. That's a all will be one Ikerman Gauntlet power, sweet. So what do we learn this week about all will be Icker in standard? And I gotta say, wow, did we play some amazing games with this deck. So record wise, ended up around 40% match win percentage overall. Played a lot of matches with this deck. Played a lot of black decks again and again and again. Didn't wanna show all of them. So try to get some diversity in there. So as far as just how strong the deck is, eh, not super, super pushed. On the other hand, Almost every single game we played with this deck was absurd. Whether we won or whether we lost, we just played all these super close, tight, long, really wild, synergistic games. So I love this deck. Like the deck just did so many cool things and we got to see pretty much every cool thing that we can imagine happen. The only thing we didn't get to do is the 10 counter Filgury Silex 10 damage thing. That might be a little bit ambitious, but we got to see 12 loyalty counters, extra turns with Planeswalkers. We got to see Iker Moon Gauntlet saving us by adding counters to like Blast Zone to kill that run against Jund. We got to see All Will Be One just steal wins out of nowhere and deal so much damage. We also, I gotta give a shout out, Jace the Perfected Mine. I will admit, way better than I gave it credit for. Uh, I still think you gotta be in the right shell for it, but I was actually pretty impressed. The plus one, actually a pretty good way to slow down aggro creatures and as hard for other sum decks to get through. And then the card draw ability, yeah, it loses a a lot of loyalty but especially in a deck like this it can add counters in other ways it's actually decent and then if you ever get 20 cards in the graveyard then it becomes absurd we also got a jace win where we we're like about to die and just jaced and added counters with the cure boom gauntlet enough that we could mill out our opponent's entire deck and win on the spot and then cough actually works pretty well on this deck as well cough just has a ton of loyalty and it gets a plus two so it synergizes really well with all will be one even if we never manage to ultimate it or do anything like that so the bad planeswalkers are pretty good the synergies of this deck are just super wild it feels like you're you're building an oil machine essentially like you're building this machine and it's got all this oil in it and it's adding these counters and it's powering up and once it gets going unless you get fairwell which we saw that against mono white fairwell's really good against us but unless your opponent has something that just racks everything the machine gets pretty unbeatable where we're just throwing so much damage and drawing so many cards and doing so many just ridiculous things so all will be here honestly even though the win rate was not like super good one of my favorite decks I've played in standard so far. So anyway, that is All Will Be Iker. Our Iker Moon Gauntlet All Will Be One Against the Odds. That's been our Against the Odds for this week. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will talk to you soon.